What's up everybody, James here, and today we're going to cover one of the topics that is probably the most talked about topic in the uh, car world right now, uh, at least definitely in detailing, and that's ceramic coating. And uh, there's a hundred videos of is it worth it or not, and before I decided to uh, pursue this uh, video, I wanted to make sure that uh, even I wasn't going to throw my money away. So I watched all the videos that you could think that are out there. And, uh, and eventually I just said, well, what the hell? Uh, worst case scenario, I make my own video about it and hopefully shed some light on the situation. So I took my car to a buddy of mine. He owns Alpha Detailing in Marietta, Georgia. So if you're in the Georgia area um, or even the outskirts of Georgia and you want it done properly, you definitely want to see Alpha Detailing. I'm going to put their details uh, in the description below so you have the opportunity to reach out to him. His name is Kevin, does wonderful work. Matter of fact, um, in a minute here you're going to see a time lapse of the process. We went and ceramic coated the Dodge Charger and um, you can see that he cuts no corners. Um, so definitely check him out. Again, details in description below. So the Charger's two weeks old uh, by the time we got it to Alpha Detailing. So what I will tell you is if you're going to ceramic coat a vehicle, hopefully it's a new vehicle and you get it to a shop immediately. This way you're not paying for the labor and materials to do a paint correction because if you do have a used vehicle, it is necessary to do a paint correction or else a ceramic coating just will not work for you. You're going to be very disappointed in me throwing your money away. So if you've talked to a shop before or you know somebody who said something about ceramic coating a vehicle and uh, they're not telling you that a paint correction is necessary or not throwing that in the quote, I'll tell you do not go to them because a paint correction is 100% necessary. Now in my case, the Dodge Charger was practically brand new. But again, Kevin went ahead and polished out some of the areas that needed done because at the, the factory where the vehicle was built, at the dealership before you buy the vehicle, at the dealership after you buy the vehicle, people hand wash that, those, those cars. So they're going to naturally put swirls and such in the clear coat. So brand new vehicle or not, it's bound to happen. So Kevin went ahead and touched up the areas that needed touched up and applied the ceramic coat. So check out this video and we'll be right back.
All oh, right, so the car is out of ceramic coating. Just took it out for a little drive. And I gotta tell you, out in the natural daylight, this looks phenomenal. Everything that uh, it was said to be. I mean, that clear coat just looks wet. The true testament is, we had the wheels ceramic coated. And any of you who own this car, or own any car with uh, a really good big brake kit, knows how bad brake dusting can get. So I'll probably have a video updating how ceramic coating is holding up against the uh, brake dust. But we did everything. And it really just, that satin black um, has this real nice gloss to it now. I mean, it just looks immaculate. So first impressions, gets a thumbs up. Um, now it's been sitting outside. We actually had a, uh, a little bit of a storm come through from the hurricane that hit uh, just below us. So uh, the car got wet and of course uh, I was driving the car so I picked up some road debris, not to mention those dreaded wheels and the brake dusting. So we're going to check out how well the ceramic coat is going to hold up in this instance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a, a touch this wash and uh, I'll show you a clip of that right now. Definitely not going to get away with just getting it through a touch-free wash. Um, however, I will say that uh, you know, looking at it, and you're not going to really see it through the camera, but uh, the car just looks great. Uh, even after picking up that road grime and the water and everything else that uh, that you get from uh, driving through a rainy day, um, the car came out great. So um, you know, you kind of debunk that. You know, just spraying it off is going to be good enough. Um, but I will say that I'm, I'm still very happy with uh, the product that I have. Um, the true test is going to be after you know several days or a week of driving, um, and I may shoot a separate video for that. But uh, the car was pretty dirty given just a day and a half, and um, and I'd say that uh, about 80% of the dirt and debris uh, came off the car without without even having to touch it, just running it through a, a touch-free wash. So uh, that's not too bad. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like I caught a bug right there. Some residual splatter. I'm not sure what that is. Just water running with dirt, maybe. And again, I drove this in the rain, and I could just tell you right now that you would not even be able to tell this car got wet. And a little bit of bug splatter there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. Uh, some bug splatter there. You know, so. And the biggest is going to be this. Uh, I'm sure you can see that. That is literally a day and a half of driving. Okay, so this is just the uh, touch-free wash. You can see there, though, that's tire sling or uh, debris from driving in the rain yesterday. This is the driver's side fender. In terms of the wheels, a lot of dirt came off the wheels, but you can see in the tough to reach places, you still have dirt build up there. And like I said, this is after about a day and a half of driving it. Uh, everywhere else looks pretty good. No. Okay, so what's the verdict here? You know, I want to say absolutely love it, hands down. Not a complaint in the world, uh, but I can't say that because I'm skeptical. Will it stand the test of time? Um, you know, I haven't washed it with a, a sponge yet, so uh, you know how well is it going to actually do in, in repelling or preventing those swirls? Um, and that's going to take some time and a couple of car washes to figure out. Um, but you know, right now, I will say that I'm very happy. Uh, the car has very little water on it. Um, the only debris it didn't really take off is the uh, the debris on the lower rocker panels or the lower part of the fenders where um, it was picking up. You know whether it's tire sling and or a combination of um, road grime that was in the water from yesterday's storm that just stuck to the car. 
Um, so, you know, I knew that it's not going to be like they advertise, where you see that white car going through the mud and just the dirt just falling right off of it. Um, no wash necessary. I think it's a little bit extreme. Uh, however, I will say I did not expect it to leave that grime behind. I would have thought that stuff, you know, being as thick as it is, would have just sprayed right off. And uh, that touch-free wash is, it's a pressure washer. So uh, I would have thought that it would have done a, a great job in removing, you know, that off the car. Um, the only thing I would have thought being left over might have been the uh, brake debris, you know, within the cracks um, in the corners of the rim. But, um, but all in all, I'd say just, again, in terms of what it cleaned out, about 80%. And, uh, and the car still looks great. So um, I'd say that we're gonna have to revisit this in a, a couple of months or a year and just see you know, where it's at at that point.